Editors using nonlinear editing systems like EDIUS all over the world perform three-point edits all the time, and they very often don't know that's what they're called. And if I could just start with a three-point edit, then I'm going to show you a reverse three-point edit, and then I'm going to show you a four-point edit in EDIUS. You'll have a, a new set of references to use as an editor. You probably won't use uh, different three-point edits because you're doing it already, but the four-point edit is pretty useful. First of all, what is a three-point edit? Well, here I've got a piece of video from, uh, this is actually a music video I worked on a little while ago, and here I've specified two marks in the source. We've got the singer walking along this wall in some rather precarious high heels, and I've specified a start and an end for the section of the clip that I want, and that's giving me a duration. In this case, just for simple maths, I've chosen five seconds. Then, in my sequence on the timeline, I need to specify a third point. I need to say when in the timeline that clip is going to go. Now I can do that by pressing the I key or clicking on the set in button in the interface and this will mean I have an in mark that will override my timeline cursor. If I don't have an in mark then, or actually for that matter an out mark, if I press the X key to remove that mark and press O instead, I can use the out mark. If I don't have either of those then Edius will use this timeline cursor as the third mark. So again if I hit the X key to remove the marks and then I perform an overwrite edit, well let me turn on my 2V track and there I've taken the clip. And if I zoom in a little bit you can see this is the section that was chosen in my player monitor. So in this instance a regular three-point edit means defining the duration of the part of the video you're going to use in the source monitor, not on the timeline. Now conversely if I add an in or an out mark on the timeline, and by the by if you do put, use the out mark rather than the in mark, Edius will line up the out mark on the timeline, I'm pressing the O key there, with the out mark on your source clip and then roll backwards from there. This is really useful if the timing of the end of the clip is important in your sequence more than the beginning. You're still going to get the duration from the source clip though. Let me hit the X key in the player monitor and get rid of those marks and I'm just going to press the I key and mark an in point. So I've defined the beginning of the bit I want and on the timeline I'm going to choose both an in and an out mark. And again now if I make an edit I get the duration this time defined by the timeline. This is a reverse three-point edit. The duration comes from the timeline rather than the player monitor. However, if for example I specify an in and an out on the timeline and both an in and an out in my player monitor, I now have four marks and we're ready for a four-point edit. Now EDIUS provides really great quality slow motion and when I make this edit without warning, without telling me, without giving me any kind of indication really, EDIUS is going to apply a playback speed adjustment. Now if I click on one of these clips on the timeline as I have now, you can see over in my information palette the speed is defined as 100%. So I'm going to click on my overwrite button at the bottom of the player monitor and this is going to overwrite the clip to the timeline and I've filled the gap here, this is going to be a bit of a meaningless bit of my sequence, but if I have this clip selected over in my information palette you can see this is now 38.78% and if I play just by pressing the space bar you can see I'm getting slow motion. Now you do have to be a little bit careful. If I deselect the clip you can see there's a little orange line along the top of the clip to indicate that something's going on but it's not 100% clear unless you look at the information palette or if you right click on the clip, go to time effect and choose speed, you'll see the adjustment right there. So keep an eye out for those orange lines. I should say though, if you do perform a four-point edit by accident, it's very, very difficult to miss. If I just zoom out for a second and I'll put an in and an out mark, and this is me being a user, not really paying attention to what I'm doing, and then I zoom in over here way, way down the timeline, and now I apply my four-point edit by accident, because I was intending for the clip to go here, I click the button and what happened? Suddenly I'm looking at a different part of the interface and you realize very, very quickly, <laughs> I had some marks on the timeline. 
Control Z to undo and go through the process again, remove your marks. If I go to the very beginning of this sequence, you can see if I mark an out and an in, well, let's have a look now. I've got 10 seconds duration selected, but if I go to my clip and, well, maybe I'll just mark an in and I'm pressing plus on the numerical keypad on my keyboard. I'm gonna type zero, 500 zero and enter and mark an out. So I've chosen five seconds of my media. If I now make a four point edit, you can see I've perfectly filled the gap. Very commonly, you're gonna have a gap, perhaps not double in the case that I've got here, but maybe just a little bit longer. Here's an example with uh, a shot of people walking by, and I've got quite a lot of this shot, but if I remove, in fact, let me double click on the time ruler at the top here to mark this clip, then I'm gonna select it and hit delete. And now I've got that 10 seconds, but let's say, for example, my original source media was, there we go, eight seconds and 12 frames. What am I gonna do? I just need it to be slightly longer. Well, it doesn't matter because I can just do a four point edit, overwrite to the timeline, and I get, if I play this back, I get pretty smooth slow motion that I can use instead of the original playback speed. You'll find in particular that nice big landscape shots, perhaps with the sea in the distance or some slow moving clouds or trees are fantastic for this little gap filling technique using a four point edit in Edius.